Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3 Africa. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. Today we are continuing as Botswana. And let me tell you right now that things are pretty dodgy for us. Uh, we're in a very, 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 very tight corner. And I don't know if we're going to get out. I honestly do not know if we're going to get out. Uh, minority sexualities has been scaled all the way down, although there's no guarantees that that's actually going to make a damned difference. I I honestly hope that it does. I'm really, really hoping that it does. Uh, wait, what? Did we not Did we not scale it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we scaled it up. It just The, the slider just disappeared. Uh, but that's going to be implemented in four turns. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to survive four turns. This may be the shortest episode of Democracy 3 Africa yet. We'll have to wait and see when we go to the next turn. Like, if we get assassinated right now, then this is going to be a two-minute video of just loading into the game, getting assassinated. It's not, not very fun. Come on, come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. Come on. Game is stuttering a little bit. Is that a good sign? I don't actually know. I, I don't actually know at all. But you know what? At least we know that the music is good. Man, this soundtrack is so great. It really, really is. I, I'm flipping loving it. It really, really is, uh... Hello? No, it's, it's just not wanted to do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's worth noting that this is still the, um the pre-release build, so, you know, there is probably going to be a couple of bugs and stuff that, uh, that are going to be ironed out while, uh, while testing goes on. I think I'm going to need to... I think I'm going to need to get rid of this. Apologies for, uh, for doing that, but we're going to be booting right back on into it. And fingers crossed the game should, uh, should show up right here, which is great. We'll load up Botswana. Fantastic. Return to government. Grand. We haven't changed anything since the last episode. We're waiting for that extra political capital. We reshuffled our entire cabinet. Uh, the maximum political capital is that. Yeah, we should get over... Th yeah, we, yeah, we're, we're going to get a lot of political capital, which is lovely. Let's go to the next turn and see what happens. Oh. Oh, folks, I cannot tell you right now how unbelievably glad I am that uh, there was another failed assassination attempt. That is really, really good news. Well, it's obviously not very good news that we are uh, that we are under attack, under siege, day by day by day. But at least we're not dying. Or at least we haven't died yet. So... What? Why did it cap out? It capped out at 28. I think that was the old cap. I don't quite know how that capping system works. But I'm very, very hopeful that liberals aren't going to hate us for much longer. Because honestly... Nobody really has much of a reason to hate us at all. All of the big problems, the problems in the country, are trending down. If the people just gave us a chance, if the people just gave us a chance, then we would almost certainly be able to get out of this hole that we've managed to dig for ourselves. Uh, you know, in positive news, we're running a pretty, pretty small deficit, actually. Pretty happy with that. Uh, almost all of our income is coming from income tax. Not a very great place to be. Um, corporation tax, we, we cut. Uh, we did, well, we didn't actually completely get rid of it. That's, uh, not something that we really want to do, as I've talked about in previous episodes, but hey-ho. Corruption, how is corruption? Corruption's pretty low, to be honest. Corruption is pretty darned low. Like, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be higher, but I guess it's not. Pretty, pretty happy about that. Foreign aid received. We've got a lot of foreign aid, which is really, really nice. Can be very, very happy about that. Human development. The average level of human development in your country. This metric has three dimensions. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that that was a, that was a mechanic. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of just stalling because I want to go to the next turn and see what the heck is going to happen. Um, however, if we do go to the next turn, then we will cap out our political capital. So I guess we got to introduce some new policies. Should we try some new policies? Some never-before-seen policies? Nature conservation? Yep, I'll take it. It's going to cost us a little bit of money. Oh, capitalists aren't going to like this. Environmentalists are, however. Let's go for... Let's go for a 1 billion. 
yeah, a, a 999 million per quarter uh, nature conservation. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's also see if we can introduce any other policies that, uh, that weren't in the original Democracy 3 game. Nothing here that we really like. Financial services regulation. That's kind of cool. Um, tax. Automation tax could bring us in a fairly large amount of money. Punitive tax on superstores could do something. Capital gains, again, could do something. Hybrid cars initiative. Let's introduce a hybrid cars initiative. I feel that this is a great idea. It's going to increase car usage just a little bit, but it's going to increase the environment by 10%. So I don't think that we can really sniff at that. If we can survive this turn, then I honestly think that we are going to be in a really, really good position. If we cannot survive this turn, then I think, well, we're going to be dead, aren't we? So, oh, we survived. We survived. We survived. We survived. We survived. All right. Oh, membership is still going up. Everybody hates us. Everybody, gosh darned, hates us. And we're running a deficit as well. Like, why are we still running a deficit? We should not be running a deficit. Our GDP is just stagnating at this point. We're not able to just increase it by a little, little bit extra. That's really annoying. Asthma's not going away. Desert desertification is not going away. Uh, technology backwater is going away, but it's going away far too slowly to actually make a difference. Ah, that's really annoying. That is really, really annoying. Um, pollution is... It's going away, but it's not going away as fast as I would like it to. Malaria, no. HIV, no. Well, yeah, sort of, but not as fast as I would like it. Class warfare. Class warfare is actually... It's actually... It's actually going down fairly fast. And when that happens, a lot of people are going to like us more. The only people I really care about liking us more are the capitalists. The capitalists can do some real damage to us. Uh, but honestly, I do not think that there should be so many... So many people in the Moral Crusade or the Warriors of, of Gia Gea because everybody likes us. Like, nobody hates us apart from, well, everyone, technically. Uh, but the capitalists, you know, the capitalists don't really like us. I don't blame them. What we could do, what we could do is we could, we could do something that I do in most playthroughs. And that is just get rid of the restrictions on, on trading and... You know, this is a really, it's a really, really dumb policy. I don't think it's a very, very great policy at all. Um, but, you know, it's in, it's something that you need to deal with, deal with at the start of every playthrough. Um, you know, that's just the way that it is. Labor laws are in favor of the capitalists. So, in all honesty, I don't know what the issue is here. It's going to take two turns to implement anyway, so it's not really a policy that we're really that interested in, uh, in looking at. Should we introduce some new policies? Let's introduce some some new policies. Family planning, religious people are uh, are going to get opposed to that. Human rights oversight. I think let's let's do that. Let's do that. Liberals are really really going to like it. It's uh, it's going to make liberals very very happy. Conservatives apparently don't like human rights at all. So whatever I guess. I mean, there's nothing that we can do to make them change their opinions. Um, agro dealer networks. I've not really investigated this, but this is something that makes rural people uh, very, very happy. Okay, you know what? We'll take that. Like, I did not know that that was just a straight up good policy. It's like, uh, you know, school lunches or whatever it is, or is it free eye tests? I can't really remember, but it gives a flat, uh, a flat increase to everybody. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, everybody should like this. This enterprise investment scheme, I don't think that this was a policy uh, that was in before. I may be wrong saying that, but I think this is a really, really good policy. Uh, increasing GDP, uh, a delay implementation of one one turn, that is really, really good. Uh, and it, make cap it makes capitalists like us. Uh, and only at the cost of... Only at the cost of socialism decreasing. It does cost us a little bit of money, which is obviously not great. But I honestly think that uh, by growing our economy in this next turn, we're going to be able to offset uh, pretty much all of the expenditure that we've spent uh, this turn. So we've got 3.32 billion uh, per quarter of a deficit. That's a, you know, to me and you, that's a pretty big number. But to a country this size, that's honestly not as bad as it could be. Now, bear in mind that we have actually technically grown Botswana's debt from a very, very small manageable number 
up into a, a quite a big number actually uh, and that is of course because you know we're we're socialists we believe that we can spend uh, spend our way out of this problem and to a certain extent that that is exactly what's happened because if you look at our GDP for the first time ever we've actually got a GDP um, our income is you know, as high as it has ever been, our expenditure, you know, the money, the amount of money that we're actually spending on our people is also the highest that it's ever been. So, you know, there's positives and negatives to the situation. Our interest rate, however, is a little bit high for my liking, and I would love it, love it, love it if we could get a further decrease in interest rate uh, all the way down to maybe a triple A, which is where we were at here, because currently, how much of our expenditure is going on debt interest? Yeah, 3.2% of, uh, of our expenditure is, whoops, is on debt interest at uh, 2.25 billion you know that's not a lot you know that's something that we can easily 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 handle however if we if we just had that extra 2.2 billion then that would be really great but you know it sucks okay there's a significant incidence of of sexually transmitted disease amongst our people in order to stem any further spread it has been recommended that we undertake a national program of education i think we should I think we should like conservative and religious voters are not going to like that but honestly i think that we should start the program uh i'll take it now if we die here gg oh Whew. oh my goodness so unbelievably lucky so unbelievably lucky um tell me that people are starting to why are people still hating us everybody likes us look everybody apart from the conservatives and the wealthy people like us and we're still running a deficit, so it seems that my predictions of uh, of running, of well, of being able to outgrow or out, yeah, outgrow the deficit was a little bit wrong, a little bit off, unfortunately. A bit of a shame, but alas, hey ho. Technology backwater progressing nicely. Class warfare needs to just get over the line, you know. It needs to just do it. Don't like how equality is contributing to class warfare. What about police? Expenditure on the police. I think maybe we should do this. Yeah, let's do this. I mean, I don't think spending on the police is just not a bad thing to do. Why does it decrease corruption, I wonder? Like, surely if you spend more money on the police, then that would increase corruption? I don't really know. Uh, what is this doing? Stock exchange is thanks to our stability which has grown immeasurably so in all honesty anybody that says we are an angry country uh, is wrong because it is much 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 more stable right now so that is a reason why i should continue to be uh, the leader of this country for a long long time to come socialists don't like this policy which is a little bit a little bit dodgy actually considering we can't really determine the stability um but hey ho i guess hey ho we're not going to go over our political capital cap so we can go to the next turn Let's not die. Let's not die. Feminist plot, that's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Pollution has just ended, and the asthma epidemic has just ended as well. Holy cow, our health is going to go batshit crazy. Oh my god, that is amazing. That is so good. That is so unbelievably good. Our unemployment is also continuing to go down because we increased investment in the police. We're going to have more police officers on the street. Uh, crime, if that could go any lower, then it, it would. Uh, but GDP, GDP has climbed consistently. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, we need to bear in mind that there is an election coming up in seven turns. And we're not exactly ready for it, are we? We're not exactly prepared for, uh, for this occasion. Also worth noting that we're not really prepared for the global economy to start com coming tumbling down. Let's face it, the global economy is going to start decreasing. And that is going to have a knock-on effect on our income. And that's not great for us. That's not great for us because we're going to be even more out of money than uh, than we already are. And we're fairly strapped for cash at the moment, folks. Like, we're fairly strapped for cash. Okay, so... Wow, look at that decrease. Look at that decrease. And with the continued investment in science funding, we're going to see... Wow, yeah, we're going to see this, this HIV AIDS ending very, very soon. Malaria, not so much. Not so much, but hey-ho. Yeah, this said, uh, the Sexually Transmitted Diseases Program, holy cow, that, that made a massive difference to HIV AIDS. That was really, really impressive. I don't like how it's kind of crept up a little bit, but hey-ho. 
So violent crime is apparently contributing to HIV AIDS, uh, but it really shouldn't. I don't think it should be. Uh, apparently violent crime is increasing class warfare. I don't really understand how that works. Oh, also, this is kind of cool. So depending on the percentage of religious people in your country, that determines how much violent crime you've got. That's really cool. I really like that. I don't think that that's a... I don't think that's a direct correlation that you can actually, uh, you know, that you can actually draw, because let's face it, uh, you know, the Godfather was based on, you know, on heavily on, on the Catholic religion. Those people were all religious. They all believed that they were good people, but, you know, they did some pretty violent stuff. Uh, so I don't think that that is a conclusion that you can, you know, unanimously draw, but I suppose as a generalization, it's not bad. Um, 49 political capital. We've got a, a lot of political capital to spend regional and overseas investment restrictions, foreign investment restrictions. We don't really want to do this. Okay, what is this? A power block alignment. Align the country with a coalition of powerful nations formed to create a sphere of influence that spans a large area of the globe. These formal allies offer security, defending our borders, as well as supporting the incumbent political regime. Okay, you know what? I think that we should uh, probably join this. Yeah, let's do this. Liberals aren't going to like it, conservatives aren't going to like it, but foreign aid received is going to go through the roof, foreign investment is going to go up, and foreign relations is going to go up as well. So, you know what? I I want to experiment with new policies, so let's, let's do it. Uh, a female genital mutilation ban, let's do it. Uh, this doesn't change anything. Just makes me spend money. Apparently it's just a, a flat-out bonus. Uh, where is the FGM ban? Uh, what, what, what area was it in? Was it in economy? It wasn't in economy, was it? It'll be linked to women. Ah, it's up here. Yeah, so this does, this slider does nothing. Okay. I mean, that's, that's fair enough. That doesn't really make that much of a difference, I suppose. Um, anything else? Anything else? We've got a, a fantastic opportunity to introduce some stuff. Family planning, yeah, religious religious people are not going to like that. Let's just look for the, the specific policies that have been added. International election observers, kind of cool. Government code of conduct, yes, let's do a, a government code of conduct. So state employees are not going to like me, but liberals are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, you can you can sort of see me just spamming some some policies just just on the off chance that we die uh, in this in this leadership in this leadership turn quarter. You know what I mean. There's a chance that we might die, and I don't want to die. Gender Discrimination Act. Make discrimination against women illegal. Wow, okay. Freedom of information is also something that we can introduce. Community policing. I imagine community policing is just one of these really, really good policies, like, overall. Yeah, it seems like a really great policy overall. Uh, let's also get... What do we want to do? I think we probably want to do gender discrimination. Let's do, de let's do uh, gender discrimination. Yeah. Alright, so conservatives are really not going to like us, but gender inequality is going to be reduced by a ridiculous percentage. So, honestly, women, women should really be liking this. And honestly, this is what we want to see. We want to make sure that everybody is just super, super happy with our leadership. And apart from the conservatives, I don't think that there should be any single group of people that dislikes me. As a leader, I mean, obviously, you can personally disagree with what I'm doing, but uh, I honestly think that people should really, really like me. And I think that the stuff that we're trying to solve, stuff like the uncompetitive economy, I honestly do think that it's very, very solvable. The technology backwater is going to be solved within a couple of turns. Class warfare is super, super close to ending. Uh, you know, HIV AIDS has never been so low. So that is that is phenomenal. That is really, really good. Let's take this decision and then uh, let's head on over to the next turn. Nuclear test treaty ban. Yeah, let's sign the treaty. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Head to the next turn. And fingers crossed we don't die. A feminist plot. Fine. Residential credit facilities. What the heck? Capitalists like it. Poor people don't like it. Alright, so we can get credit cards in the system. That is that is absolutely awesome. Let me quickly just check how much... Uh, oh, yes! We managed to grow our economy enough that we've actually got a little bit of a surplus, which is hugely, hugely, hugely important. And uh, it's hopefully something that we'll be able to explore in the next episode. Quick look at our threat assessment. Tells me that things are definitely looking up for Botswana. Ladies and gents, 
Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. Tune in next time for some more Democracy 3 Africa. Until then, folks, bye.